Part 1. Perimeter and area of a trapezium. You will find this on page 197 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. You learned how to calculate the area of a triangle, square, rectangle, parallelogram and rhombus in grade 8. Can you still recall the formula? In grade 9 we will learn about more shapes. So let's first focus on the trapezium, the height of a trapezium. The height of a trapezium, like a parallelogram, must be with reference to two parallel sides. Therefore, the height of a trapezium is the perpendicular distance between the two parallel sides. It can be measured anywhere. So there is the parallel side, and that will be the height, making an angle of 90 degrees towards the parallel sides. The height can also be outside the figure, so if you extend this parallel line, then that will still be the height. If you extend it to this side, then that will be the height. You can do investigation one to, for, to find the formula for the area of a trapezium. Now, from the investigation, we can conclude that the area of a trapezium will be a half multiplied the sum of the lengths of the parallel sides multiply the height, the perpendicular height. So it's actually a half, that is the parallel sides, and that is your perpendicular height, where A and B are the lengths of the parallel side. But let's look at an example. Example 1. The figure shows a trapezium, A, B, C, D, where A, B is 10.9, that's 10.9, BC is 7, uh, CD is 5, and AD is 6. If DE is 6 centimeters, okay, let's just see again. AD, AD is 6. Uh, if DE, where's DE, 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 this will not be 6. DE, let's just do that correction. DE will be 4.8. Okay. For this trapezium, calculate the area and the perimeter of the trapezium. Now, I, I gave you a lot of information, but you will only use some of the information. You will only use the parallel sides, the some of the parallel sides, and you will only use the perpendicular height. So you will use this information to calculate the perimeter. So basically, I just always first write down the formula, then do substitution. That's the half, that's one parallel side, plus the other parallel side, times the perpendicular height. And then I just press it on my calculator, and I get 38.16 centimeters squared. If I must find the perimeter, now just remember, the perimeter is just the distance around the figure. So if I must... Highlight it, we can even use a lip. That will be the perimeter, the distance around the figure until I connect at the starting point. So that will just be, and I'm just going to clean it because there's now too many information. Okay, so this will just be 10.9 plus 7 plus 5 plus 6, and that will be the perimeter of the figure. Okay. I want you I want you to do try now one number two. You can stop the video and as soon as you are finished you can continue with the video. Let's start. Try now one and we are going to do number two. Okay, let's start. In the figure, KLMN is a trapezium in which KL is 14, LM is 12, NM is 8, and KN is 10. Now, find for this trapezium, KLMN, find the area. Now, maybe you're going to say, I don't have the height. One of the sides in this figure will be the height. So, let's just mark it again. Okay, let's just, I just want to get this pen. Oh, let's just undo, undo, undo. 
Okay, so if I have my pen, this is, oh, it's too, too slow, okay, too low. This is parallel. Oh, let's just do, do that one. This is parallel. And this one will be the height. Okay, so I just first write down my formula. So if I write down my formula, I'm going to say the area, so to correct the pen, the area of the trapezium, and that will be equal to a half and sum of parallel sides and times the height. But you can also say a half times the height times the sum of the parallel sides. But if I'm going to substitute that, that will just be a half. What is the parallel sides? It will be 14 plus the 8. And then I multiply it with the height because that side makes 90 degree angle. That's why it is the height. So multiply that 10. And if I press everything on my calculator, I will get 110 centimeter square. Okay. And if I ask you the perimeter, so let's just go on. The perimeter, and this will be number B. This was number A. So the perimeter of the trapezium. Oh, I'm going to show you other way of doing it also. You can also do it like this, and then it's, it's just not necessary. It just helps you to get order in your work. So the perimeter of the trapezium will be that I just add up all the sides. So I can basically just go and say, okay, I, I'm just going to say add up all sides. And that is going to give me, and if I start adding it up, it's 8 plus the 12. So I start there, 8 plus 12 plus 14 plus and if I add up all of them, I will get an answer of 44 centimeter. That will be the distance around the figure.